We are good. Welcome. It is Wednesday. It is Health and Wellness Wednesday. Uh, thank you for joining us today. As you know, I'm Kasha Kramer. I'm the Director of Community Health Improvement for the Partnership for Healthy Ocala County. And joining me today, we have Maggie. If you could introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Uh, my name is Maggie Kuntz. I'm the health planner at the Carroll County Health Department, uh, which pretty much means I do a lot of different things. Um, but I, I love working here because I get to kind of, you know, kind of help support all the programs that we offer, which we'll be talking a little bit about today. So thanks so much for having me here to celebrate National Public Health Week. Right. So that's what we wanted to do it this week. So this week is National Public Health Week. So we're going to jump right in and talk about this. So like, what does that even mean? What is Public Health Week? And when did it start? Why is it a thing? And all this. So Public Health Week started in 1955. And it is just a way for us to raise awareness about public health. Public health is typically pretty invisible, which is, you know, we're doing our job um, because we're doing a lot of things behind the scenes. But it's also important for us to raise awareness of what public health is doing and making sure that everybody's aware of the services that we offer so that they, if they need them that, and whenever they need them, they can come, come to us and get those services. So. That's, that's the importance of Public Health Week is just, um, you know, just raising awareness. And the theme this year is public health is where you are, which I think is really appropriate because public health is for everyone and it's, it's everywhere. And I'm glad you said that uh, about it being for everyone because um, what is public health? You know, we hear public health get talked about, but like what actually is public health and what does that mean? Yeah, and it looks a little bit different anywhere in every county. And that's one of the things that's unique about it. You know, we have in Maryland, we have 24 different little health departments that, that serve their own counties. And so we all look a little bit different. Uh, but public health, basically, everybody knows what a healthcare provider is. A healthcare provider is somebody who cares for an individual when they're sick and helps them to try and stay well. Uh, so the health department really cares for the whole community in the same way. We try to give people services when they're when they're sick or they they need help, uh, but we also try to do a lot of things behind the scenes to prevent illness and injury and keep people safe. So, um, public health is really like a like a doctor for the whole community. Um, so, one of the things I know the health department does is collect a lot of data. Um, why is that important to public health? So, data is super important for public health because it helps us know what the needs of the community are and how they change over time. So. Um, you know, the partnership, of course, we work really closely with you to, uh, you know, you guys do the, the community health needs assessment, which is a, you know, which is a kind of data collection that we really need and use to highlight some of the things that are most important in affecting the most people in Carroll County. But we look at lots of other data too, um, lots of numbers, lots of percentages. Thankfully, we have an epidemiologist on staff who does a lot of that for us um, and helps us use that data to plan and to see how our uh, programs are working, how well they're working and where, where there's room for improvement and how community needs change over time. So we really rely on both the, you know, the numbers kind of data and also just the, the surveys and, uh, and stories that are you know, qualitative data that helps us understand what's going on in our community, what the needs are, um, how we can best meet them, and how effective our programs are at meeting those needs. So I'm going to go off script real quick and ask a question about the data. And like, so what actually gets done with the data, and how does that help? Like, you know, determine what goes on. And I guess it does kind of lead into the next question about, like, what specific things can be done at the health department. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so we use, you know, data for all of our programs to make sure that, that they're, they're working correctly. So, of course, we collect lots of data that just says how effective our programs are, how many people we've reached, um, you know, how many people are still in need, you know, what the need is in the community. And those help, um, help us seek, seek grants and other funding and, you know, work with the state to get more funding for those things, the things that are, you know, impacting Carroll County residents the most. Um, we also use data for planning. So that's my job as a planner is to do a lot of internal planning and look at, um, kind of all the needs there are and all the resources we have and try to figure out what we need to focus on first and, and you know, how we can best use the resources that we have to meet community needs. Um, and then, you know, we use it for evaluation to see if a certain program or something that we're doing is, is working, um, is meeting those needs. So, um, you know, so we're really using data in a lot of different ways. And there's a lot of data sources from the state and, and nationwide that also just help kind of highlight 
general public health um, needs, you know, things like, um, you know, mental health and adolescence. That's something we're all, we've all been concerned about a lot lately. And there's data collected on that. And so collecting data locally and, and looking at data nationally helps us really plan and figure out how to best meet, um, you know, meet our community's needs. So we really do use data in a lot of different ways. But as I said, thank goodness we have somebody on staff who, mm -hmm. who helps us mm -hmm. uh, stay on task. And we're looking at ways to use it even more to do more, more performance management at the health department over time. So to really help us, you know, get the best uh, use out of our data that we that we collect internally. So when you talk about like some of the things that are offered at the health department, what actually are services that are offered at the health department that people can utilize? So, so many different services, mm -hmm. uh, so many different things that we do, things that you'll, you, you people can interact with, um, you know, it face to face and things that that may they may never you know directly interact with better they're impacting their health so i'm just going to break it down by bureau to give you a few examples but just keep in mind it's just a few so our environmental health bureau helps make sure our food is safe they inspect restaurants and food trucks and other places that are selling food to make sure that they're doing it in a safe way um, they make sure that wastewater disposal is safe uh, they make sure they work on water and air quality uh, they help prevent rabies by following up if anybody gets a bite or has an encounter with a wild animal and they're at risk. Um, rabies, you know, can be fatal. So they, you know, why they want to make sure that they're following up, doing a needs assessment and making sure that people get treatment if they need it. Uh, and we are offering a, a rate, an anti-rabies vaccine clinic for pets, dogs, cats, and ferrets on May 1st is our next one uh, from two to four at the Ag Center. Um, so we try to offer those things to help people keep their, um, their pets safe also from, um, from rabies. Uh, so our Bureau of Prevention, Wellness, and Recovery uh, covers a lot of behavioral health. Uh, they help connect people to behavioral health resources and support. Um, they work to prevent substance abuse. They work to train people to use naloxone to, uh, to rescue someone who is overdosed. Uh, and they offer peer support uh, and lots of other services for people who, uh, who are in recovery. So there are a lot of different services that, uh, behavioral health services that come out of that, um, uh, out of that bureau. Uh, our nursing bureau provides services across the lifespan from the WIC program, which is, you know, for, for young, uh, young children and babies and their mothers, uh, to making sure that they're getting um, adequate nutrition. Um, and our dental clinic, which serves uh, children of, you know, through age 18 who, uh, who qualify for, for that program, who can't access uh, dental services otherwise, and also pregnant women. Uh, we do vaccines in the schools, like flu vaccines, and also, um, you know, we do a lot of uh, the, the back to school vaccines in the, in the schools with in cooperating with the schools and also vision and hearing screenings. So your kids all get those. Um, so folks are, are, are kind of, without knowing it, interacting with the health department there. We have reproductive health services um, offered right here in our building. Uh, we offer cancer screening support for low income adults. Uh, and we even offer evaluations for disabled and older adults who want to remain living at home. So really the whole, uh, the whole lifespan. And our administration bureau, in addition to supporting us, they provide birth and death certificates. So a lot of people, you may not, uh, you may not come to us for any of those other services, but you probably need your birth certificate at some point and we can get birth certificates for anybody born in Maryland. So we do a lot of birth certificates and death certificates. Uh, and they also provide transportation to medical appointments uh, for people who have medical assistance. So uh, and they help and they help support people who uh, kids uh, who need M chip the the medical um, insurance for kids in Maryland. Um, so just a whole whole boatload of services. So there's there's something there's something for everybody at the health department. Right. And so you say that's something for everybody. Can anybody access these services um, at the health department? Yeah, so our whole, you know, most of our services are available to anyone. There are some of our services that are more safety net services that are primarily aimed towards people who, you know, are lower income or, or underinsured or uninsured. Um, but a lot of our services are, are open to everybody. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that if the last two years, you know, our entire staff has been, um, you know, leading the COVID response in Carroll County, offering PPE, offering testing, offering vaccinations, um, you know, data, tracking our data and doing all the things that, you know, kind of helped uh, coordinate the response in Carroll County. So, um, you know, just huge kudos to our staff this, this public health week for all that they've been doing for the last couple of years. And I was going to say that a huge kudos to, I mean, I have so many favorite people who work at the health department, you know, being there, that I previously worked at the health department, having access to, to meeting so many great people and the great work that the health department does uh, for Carroll County. And it's, like you said, it is very unique in, in our county uh, to have so many bureaus working together um, and doing so many great things for our county. Um, and as you know, Tasha, one of the things, one of the ways we do what we do is to work with community partners like the partnership and hospital absolutely. and the Bureau of Aging and many other community partners. We have a, we're really lucky to have such a tight network, Carroll County government um, that works really closely together to, uh, to, you know, to really serve the community, I think the best we can because we, we coordinate so well. 
Absolutely. We often say how Feral Putty is very, very lucky in the fact that we collaborate and play very well together and work to for the greater cause and the bigger picture. Um, so we do work very well together. With that, we're going to show a little video uh, for the health departments. And I want to thank every one of you who work at the health department and who work in public health in general. Uh, thank you for all that you do and all that you continue to do. So let's share Thanks. this video. Sound. Right, so now it's gonna share my Facebook real quick. Let's see. I need it to go, oops. Oh, oh, here we go, right here. Here we go. And what are the health problems that are, people are having and how can we impact the health of the community to make it a, a healthier and better place for, for people to live? Every day, every week, every month, every year, this health department is making a really positive impact in the community. It's just a really, it's a really exciting thing. Carroll County Health Department, all the staff, all the resources, all of what we do, all of that is focused on just one patient. The patient happens to be the entire county of Carroll County, Maryland. I think you have to love what you do and be committed to the community and your job to be in the public health setting. I can't do it all by myself, so there are many staff here in the health department. They have a lot of good ideas, and I look at my job as being advocating for ideas that my staff have. I don't care how much money you make, or what kind of questions you have. It's just so important to have that agency to go to. You know, the health department should be a trusted entity. And when people have access to care, health care, behavioral health care, that supports our community in a way that creates safety for all of us. When we look at, at our vision of a safe and healthy community for all, we, we mean all people. and just give some hope to individuals that this doesn't have to be your end because this is where we are now. That's our overarching goal is to be able to keep individuals who may otherwise not be able to remain in the community at home with services. The health department is out there pretty much touching everybody every day. Everybody knows, understands what health care is, but public health is a little bit more invisible. It's things that we don't, they don't necessarily know are there. If we're doing our job right, the, the drinking water will be safe, swimming pools will be safe, the, the food you're served in a restaurant will be safe, pets will be vaccinated. You get a sense of accomplishment. When, whenever you can see or, or drive past a, a place where you know you did something and it's still functioning, it's still working. Anybody in the community that comes in, they're coming in here because they need help of some sort and you're part of helping them somehow. It is a great, great group, and they are so passionate about what they do and the community. Serving the community, I mean, it's what they do. Trying to keep the entire community safe. It's a big job. People don't realize what we do, but we monitor all of the diseases. Impact that we're making within the community every single day, and also just seeing every day the camaraderie among our staff who are always willing to help out whenever and wherever they can. I don't know that any one person could realize all the things that we're involved with, but there are just so many opportunities for us to be involved in the community and work closely with our community partners to make a difference. All of us want to be healthy, but there's so many dimensions to health. We're an organization that is trying to address all those different dimensions of health. I love that video. It is, it's, it's just a great video and shares so many great things about what the health department can do and offer to the community. So uh, thank you again, Maggie, for joining us today and be sure to pass on, pass on all of our thanks to everyone who works and feel free to share our video out uh, this Wellness Wednesday today. Um, I hope everyone has a great Wednesday and we will see you next week and thank you.
Thanks very much, Tasha. Thanks, everyone.